Earlier in November 2021, I had shared a video regarding React 18 Alpha and also talked about its new features such as concurrent rendering, automatic batching, and new streaming server renderer with built-in support for React.Lazy. Finally, React has shifted from Alpha to Beta and has brought some exciting updates and features for the React.js community. Since I have already discussed in detail in the React 18 Alpha video, I'll keep it short here and go through how you can install React 18. You can use the npm to install the latest version of React. You can write npm install React and React DOM. Or if you are using yarn, then certainly you write the add and React React DOM. There are few updates to client rendering APIs. Let's discuss them first. React DOM render is no longer supported in React 18. So you will have to use create root instead. Also your app will behave as if it's running React 17 until you switch to the new API. So if you observe this code, before we were writing like this where we had the render method and we used to have the React DOM. Now you just have to import the create root that is from the React DOM client and then you create a container object with the reference of the HTML element in which you want to draw all your components and then you have the create root method where you pass this container. The main task of the new root API is to enable the new concurrent renderer allowing you to opt into concurrent features. Now we have root.unmount which used to be unmount component at node. So we used to write it like this but now we have this root.unmount method. The react team also has removed the callback from render. Do note that there is no one to one replacement for the old render callback API. It basically depends on your use case. This was the earlier scenario and now we have this newer way, newer approach to the callback API. If your app uses server side rendering with hydration, now you will have to upgrade hydrate to hydrate root. So earlier we used to write hydrate and then we have the application component and we pass the container. But now we have the hydrate root which we import from again the react dom client. And then we use the hydrate root method. We first of all pass the container and then we pass the component. Here you don't need the separate root render which we have with the create root method. Remember if your app doesn't work after upgrading, check whether it's wrapped in strict mode. Check whether removing strict mode fixes your app or not. If it does, you can remove it during the upgrade and then add it back either at the top or for a part of the tree after you fix the issues. Now let's quickly talk about the updates done to server rendering APIs. React 18 has revamped the React DOM and server APIs to fully support suspense on the server and streaming SSR. They have deprecated the old node streaming API which did not support incremental suspense streaming on the server. So now this API will warn deprecated. So render to node stream is deprecated and for streaming in node environment you can use render to pipeable stream. There is a new API to support streaming SSR with suspense for modern edge runtime environments such as Deno and Cloudflare workers. Render to readable stream is again a newer API which you use in this case. I have explained about batching in my previous video as well. Batching is when React groups multiple state updates into a single re-render. All this is done to boost the performance of your app. Before React 18 only updates were batched inside React event handlers. So any updates inside of promises, set timeout, native event handlers or any other event were not batched in React by default. So before React 18 only React events were batched. But now with 18's create root all updates will be automatically batched. It won't matter where they originate from. This simply means that updates inside of timeouts, promises, native event handlers or any other event will batch the same way as the updates inside 
of React events. Here React will only re-render once at the end and that is what batching is all about. Time will tell how well this change is accepted but I think this will result in less rendering which in turn will give better performance for your applications. Now how do you opt out of automatic batching? You use the flush sync to do that. You import the flush sync from the react dom and you can use it in this way. You can go onto the official React blog to get more details on how to upgrade your React app. This major update to the extremely popular JavaScript framework will boost up your app's performance by rendering multiple UI versions simultaneously and also will batch all updates by default. Let me know if you have any questions regarding upgrading to React 18 in the comments section.